Monday morning. I'm just getting ready to go for a little stroll. TK doesn't know that word, so I'm gonna use that instead of the W word. My mom has the day off of work today, so she said she wanted to come with me and Tika girl. So I'm gonna pick her up on the way. Intentions for this week. I wanna be productive with work, but I wanna balance it with being social and getting out in the sun. I also wanna get back into a workout routine because I've just been going for walks for the past two weeks and I haven't done any like weightlifting, Pilates, anything like that. So those, those are the goals. My sister's going back to New York this weekend, so I'm gonna be taking over her apartment again. I have a couple little social plans that I am setting up, so I think it's gonna be a fun weekend. It's also supposed to be sunny and hot all week, so just like full on summer weather, which is always amazing. I also have a lip filler appointment today. I think I can't go to the gym after, for like 24 hours actually. We'll see, okay, I need to get finish getting ready here. I just went to three different stores to try to find Arnica tablets and I had no luck. I bruise almost every single time that I get filler and I really don't want to have bruises this week. I don't even know how much the Arnica would have helped but I just like want to do everything I can. But anyways, here's a little before. I've been getting my lips done for over 10 years, I think. I'm trying to remember when I first started getting them but I'm pretty sure I was around 20 when I started getting them done. At this point, I only go once every year to every like year and a half, maybe even two years. I honestly don't really think I have much in my lips right now. My bottom lip has always looked like this. It's mainly my top lip that really changes because I have a small upper lip. I also get small amounts each time. I don't think I've ever done more than half a syringe in one appointment because I just want it to look super natural and I just like giving it like a little plump, a little shaping. I do have a really uneven cupid's bow naturally as well. I don't know exactly how much I'll be getting today. I'll give you guys all the info when I'm done my appointment, but I'm going to the Vanity Lab in Yale Town. I'm frozen. I have a scab here and it's bothering me, but um, I got a little bruise. This is what they look like. We actually did less than half. He said he did about a quarter of a sir I can't talk. A quarter of a syringe, so a very small amount, and we didn't put anything in the bottom, just the top. So he doesn't use numbing cream, he does, I can't remember what it's called, but he puts two injections here and here, and it numbs like your teeth, your lips, and so you can't feel anything when he's doing the actual injections, which is nice. This is me trying to smile right now. I'll have to wait a few days to actually see what the final result is gonna be, because they're always like a little swollen at first. I got an ice pack that I should probably use. I purposely made no other plans because I didn't know what I was going to look like after. I literally can't feel my lip whatsoever. Here's day two. Definitely swollen. We've got two bruises. This one's pretty bad. I'm really glad that I got this done on Monday because I'm hoping by Friday. I think the swelling will be gone. I think I'll still have the bruises, but hopefully I'll be able to cover them at that point. I still need to wait a couple days before I'm gonna like fully see what they look like. Like it feels like super swollen. Can't do the gym today, so we're just gonna do a long walk. Tika's ready to go. <laughs> go for a walk. Let's go. to the gym this is gonna be my first gym session in over two weeks i wanted to go yesterday but you're not supposed to work out for 24 hours after lip filler we're finally getting back at it and i want to get in a couple sessions before i head downtown because i won't be working out this weekend i have a call in like 10 minutes i don't know if it's on zoom or if it's a phone call i think it's on phone i've got a pimple sticker happening here and i should probably change just in case these bruises are impossible to cover this is concealer lip liner and lipstick it's getting slightly better every day anyways i need to prep for this call just got off my call i'm having breakfast this is coconut chia pudding with mango peanut butter cinnamon and cacao nibs it's so good I'm on my way downtown, just trying to get out of the suburbs right now. I'm not sure what's going on here, but a bunch of roads are blocked off. Oh, my service is back. My music stopped playing, like I couldn't use Spotify, and my maps wasn't working, and like, there must be accidents, but then there's also like some like construction, I don't know. 
There was a huge clusterfuck happening back there. We're almost out of the woods. All right, we just, go, we just got here. This is our host, Cash. I feel like I haven't eaten all day, so I'm gonna run downstairs and get some food. So busy out there for some reason. I feel like everyone's out for dinner right now. I'm just like, not in a socializing mood. <laughs> Lip update for the day. This is me trying to cover it. I feel like the swelling continues to go down, but it still feels like a little bit hard. It's definitely not settled in yet. To me, this looks the exact same as yesterday and the day before. By Monday, it should be good, but we'll see. We're just gonna have this for the weekend. We're getting the day going with a seawall walk. This is the fit. It's from Whiskey. I love the color. I might take the padding out of this though, because I just feel like the tits are a little too much. It's not the look I'm going for at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh my god, it's cut, it's, what? These ones are stuck. I just fully change. I just feel like bright colors draw more attention and I don't feel like, I don't want attention this morning. So I stole this outfit from my sister's closet. And then this hoodie is actually from an activewear collection that I created and I gave it to my sister. So I'm just stealing my hoodie back. <laughs> I'm getting ready now. I technically don't need to be ready for several more hours, but I just like having lots of time. I have a top one, by the way. I think I'm gonna do this sequin skirt and this tube top. We're going to like a beach DJ party tonight. <laughs> guys i feel like i need to debrief but honestly there's nothing to debrief you on because nothing crazy happened it is 9 a.m saturday i have absolutely no plans today but i want to do something like do i go to the beach i want to hang out like who do i hang out with today i want to do something social and fun what do i do first order of business i need to get something to eat and then i'm gonna go for a walk I went to Viet Sub, I think that's what it's called. I got a lemongrass chicken banh mi. This looks so good. No, no. Tika just tried eating the cat's food. That's not yours. I'm watching. I'm getting ready now. I'm gonna meet up with a friend and we're gonna go to the beach. I think we're gonna go to Kits. There's fireworks tonight as well. So it's probably gonna be pretty packed, but um, it's Celebration of Lights. And I think it's Portugal. There's like different countries do different firework shows. So they do it every summer. I feel like I need to put sunscreen on because I'm getting kind of toasty. <laughs> got back home i also picked up cookies and tea i met up with a friend at kids beach and we hung out for a little bit <laughs> and then we went to nook for dinner um it's an italian place right by the beach which was super yummy we did not stay for the fireworks i don't even think they've started yet and it's like after 10 because you have to wait for it to be dark out so it's like <laughs> but i also wanted to get out of there before it got too crazy so i'm back home a part of me feels like i should be out doing something just because like everyone's out and it's saturday night and it's summer and it's hot but i also just like i don't know oh my goodness you're trying to eat my cookies i want to see how these are they didn't have the cookies that i want i think they stopped selling them okay dude these are not for you oh 
Uh, these are very meh. I went for brunch with my mom this morning. We went to Homer Street Cafe and we sat out on the patio. I tried taking a photo and this is how it turned out. It actually started raining when we were about to leave and now it's super cloudy out, which is kind of nice because I need to edit this video. It makes me feel like I'm not missing out being outside, but I do think it's supposed to get sunnier later and I hope it does because then I kind of want to go to the beach or like tan by the pool or something later. But while it's cloudy, we're going to get some work done. This is my last night downtown, so I wanted to go out. So we're going to go out for dinner. I'm just finishing up getting ready and then we need to figure out where we're going. I just got back from dinner and drinks with my friend. I completely black out and forget to vlog when I'm out. So um, I got no footage, but we went to Parker Rooftop, which is a newer rooftop bar in Vancouver. I've never been there before. So it was nice to just check it out. Okay, I'm gonna watch an episode of Vikings. Also, you guys, I'm watching Vikings Va Vahela, Valhalla, which I think I was supposed to watch Vikings original first. Anyways, this cat is trying to get my tea. I wonder if it smells like catnip. Stop! Anyways, bye guys. See you in the next video.